So as per our architecture diagram, AWS Lambda function needs a execution role which has permission to call the SageMaker endpoint and save the image into the S3 bucket. So we need two permission and we have to assign those permission into the AWS Lambda execution role. So first we will go ahead and create the AWS Lambda function execution role. In order to do that, go to the console and search for the Lambda. Once the Lambda is open, select your Lambda function, which is stable D. Then you have to go to the configuration and in the configuration tab, select the permission and then you will select the role name. Once the role is loaded, then go ahead and click on the permissions. So if you click on the permissions, you can always go ahead and edit that into the JSON format. So here, what I will do is I will click the edit policy and then click on the JSON. Here you can see the existing uh, permissions are there. We have to add a brand new permission which will allow execution of SageMaker invocation and as well as uh, the S3 bucket actions, for example, put or gate or post, right? So let's go ahead and add the first uh, permission for the SageMaker. And then we will also add the S3 star, which will give all of the access that is required for the S3 bucket. And in the resource, I'll put the star. Then we'll, we'll review the policy and next we will save the changes. So therefore the permission is updated against the role that was assigned to the AWS Lambda function. So with that, our uh, role is created. Our next step is go ahead and create the S3 bucket where we will save our images. So let's do that in our next video.